Hello everyone. In the last video, we had seen image point operations like linear and non-linear contrast stretching of an image. In this video, we will continue with point operations and we are going to see the log and the inverse log transformation on the images. So the log transformation, what it does is it takes the low intensity values in an input image and map it to a wider range of output levels and the opposite is true for the higher values. So the low intensity becomes uh, the high intensity value pixels and the high intensity value pixels, okay, they would become a bit lower. So that is the log transformation and the application for this is to expand the dark pixels in the image while compressing the brighter pixels. So there could be some images where you're not getting very nice images and you may require these transformation operations. So the formula of log transformation is defined like this. So this is constant into log of the pixel value, the input pixel value. We add one here to avoid the problem of infinity. So log zero is infinity to avoid that we add one here. So let's uh, import our uh, libraries numpy, scikit-image, matplotlib and the no norm. And uh, uh, we will see first on the two dimension how the graph looks like and then we will go for the image. So for an 8 bit image the maximum intensity value is 2 raised to 8 minus 1 which is equal to 255. So your constant here which is log of 1 plus 255 so 255 divided upon 256 that will be your constant and the r, the r is the input range i have just taken it a, a numpy single dimension array from 0 to 255 and this is the this is the application of the the output pixel value so let us plot this and look at how the graph will look like so when you plot r and y so this is the graph so if your input image is between input image pixel intensity is between 0 to 10 you see drastically here the log of that will be increasing quite a lot and towards the higher side uh, it is just a so this is not like a decreasing but it is kind of keeping it constant so let us apply this on a on our image so like in the last video we had taken a, this uh, image of the contrast and we will apply the log transformations and side by side we will see how the input and the transform image looks like. So this is your constant and this is the formula of your log transformation. We have to convert the floating point values to integer so that it can be appropriately shown as a image. And uh, let us take one cross two subplots and look at the input and the output image. So you would find here that this image has brightened a lot. Okay, So the dark areas 0 etc they have brightened a lot and the image which was light that remains as is. So the total effect is of a very high brightness image. So, but here in this case, we are losing a lot of information. So you need to use your transformations appropriately based on the kind of images that you will get. Let us look the effect on another photo. I have a photo of Einstein and let's apply this. Okay, looks like some issue in the photo. All right. So there was a warning which I have ignored. Uh, there was no issue. There was a division by zero and we can debug why that has happened. So let me ignore the warning and move ahead. So this is how when you apply a log transformation, the darker regions have become quite lighter. Okay, you see these dark regions here. So if the pixel is that this darker region 
zero etc they have become quite lighter so this is about log transformation let us do a inverse log transformation inverse will will be applicable where you have a lighter version of the image and you want to do the opposite so to apply the inverse let us first do the inverse transformation on a, again a single dimension value so inverse would be uh, inverse of log is exponential exponential raised to 1 upon constant so when it was your log transformation what we did was we took the log of your input uh, image pixel intensity and we multiplied it by constant if you want to take the inverse log this is transformed to exponential and instead of multiplying we are raising it to 1 divided by that constant okay. that will give you the inverse log of the image so let us look at the pixel intensity values so here the darker image they are mapped to the y value is so this is the uh, darker image and it is mapped like this okay so if you plot them together if you give them different names and uh, plot them together So this is the log transformation and this is the inverse log transformation. So similarly we can take the same uh, photo and do the inverse log transformation of it. So let's do the inverse log transformation and let us look how the figures look like the input and the output figures. So this image is darkened already it was dark and again it is darkened so inverse log is better when you have lighter images and log is better when you have darker images and you want to perform the image transformation i hope this helps thank you